Hello guys, how are you? It's teacher Yolanda here. Welcome to our session 22. For this session we're going to need our English notebook and our maze book. Please go and get them. Today we're going to focus on a variation of our second conditional. Remember, second conditional is for expressing unreal things. Today we're going to be talking about other unreal things. In this case, we're going to be talking about making wishes. So, a wish is something you don't have. It's when you want things to change. All wishes are unreal right now. At least for now, okay? As they're unreal, we express them with past. Meaning something similar to the second conditional. So now let's read this information in parentheses. Remember that the past in second conditional was not simple past. What's actually el pretérito imperfecto del subjuntivo, which was fuese, tuviese, hiciese, trajese, trajera, etc. So that is for making wishes in simple present but in English. Let's check further. Again, as we're talking about unreal situations, remember about the grammatical exception. Only for unreal situations, all of the subjects are going to take where or weren't when it comes to verb to be. We're not going to use was or wasn't, only were and weren't. Okay? So that means it's I were, you were, she were, he were, it were, we were, and they were. Let's check some of the examples here. Here it says, I wish I were a superhero. I wish we didn't have to copy this. That's so unreal, so please copy this, kids. So, what's that? I wish I were a superhero. Desearía ser un superhéroe. Again, desearía ser un superhéroe. I wish I were a superhero. Here we would say desearía. So how do they add the unreal situation? They add it with simple past. Remember that when we're talking about simple past, the negative form is we didn't. So I wish we didn't have to copy this. Desearía que no tuviésemos que copiar esto. But you have to copy it. So remember to copy this in your English notebook, please. Now you have to be careful with he, she and it. As usual, you know, they're all a bit complicated. When we talk about the wishes of somebody else that it's not me, you have to write, she wishes, not she wish. She wishes she had a pet. Ella desearía tener una mascota. He wishes his parents gave him permission to go to the party. Él desearía que sus padres le dieran permiso para ir a la fiesta. All of these situations are unreal, that's why we're using the simple past, okay? Just remember that for he, she and it, we are going to take wishes. Let's continue practicing this now at page 59 of the Amaze book. Here we have again some examples. Let's read the comic strip now. The example says, I wish I were taller. Again, I were, not I was. Uh -huh. Desearía ser más alto o más alta. Let's pay attention to the fish here. We wish the sea were cleaner. That's too sad, but that's unreal. We wish they didn't pollute. Look at the animals. All of them are suffering the consequences of our own bad education when it comes to environmental issues. Here, in the rectangle, we've got two more examples. He wishes it were sunny today. Do I wish they had more time? So, it isn't sunny. And they don't have more time. So let's read about this. It says, read and write. Dear mom and dad, the weather is horrible here. I miss the sun. Little Pierre is a sweet boy, but he's very disobedient. Mrs. Blanc, Pierre's mother, smokes all day long. Yeah. Mr. Blanc is nice, but he's always out. I love the coffee here too. Too bad we don't have coffee like this in the States. The burgers are terrible. They don't know how to make them. Love, Mary. And here we have these illustrations so we can tell that she's in Paris. Maybe for an exchange. So, good thing is that here the book has already numbered the sentences that you have to write over here. It says, the weather 
It's horrible here. That is number one. So, Mary wishes, okay, pay attention. All of the sentences are going to start with Mary wishes, okay? Mary wishes the weather were better. Where did we get this thing over here? Were better. Because the verb here is is. So, we had to transform it into past. So, Mary wishes the weather were better. Uh-huh. You have the thing what she would wish to have instead of the situation that's just living there in France. So, number two, number three, number four, number five and number six are also underlined. So, you can write about Mary's wishes. Please don't forget to transform the verb into past and start all of the sentences with Mary wishes. We're going to check them later on in our class. On the next page, page 60, we have to follow the lines. We are just talking about environmental issues, the same as we did in the students' book and the workbook, with the time travelers and the story of the Arctic and the Antarctic. Here we have the, well, it's a map, it's a mind map, and the title is an ecosystem. In blue, we have good things, for example, recycle, reforestation, using bicycles and having clean air, or using solar power and having clean air. In red we have negative things, for example, the destruction of the forests, which leads to global warming, and excess of garbage, which also leads to global warming. The destruction of forests lead to extinct species. Look, here's a dodo. Do you remember our book read about the dodo? A lot of garbage leads to dirty streets. Factories lead to polluted rivers and smog. And petroleum or petrol leads to polluted oceans and also oil spills, as we saw in the vocabulary of the unit. So, what are we going to do with all of this information? So, here it says answers may vary. What you have to do is think about things that are very negative and how you could solve them. Again, they give us lots of ideas in the mind map over there and you just have to write sentences like the one in the example. For example, I wish they didn't cut down trees. And where did they get that information from? Here, the destruction of forests. What can we write here with the same thing? I wish people would plant trees. Yes, I wish people planted trees. That would be the opposite, the affirmative sentence. So you can wish for good things like I wish people used bikes instead of cars or you can write about the negative things. I wish people didn't use a car so much. So we could have like thousands of ideas here. There are many possibilities. We're going to share them later in our class so please do it because you're going to participate. In this page, we're going to start working with a wrap-up. What is a wrap-up? The end of the unit. In the first exercise, it says, read and write. We're going just to write the numbers. Uh -huh, pay attention, it's only the numbers. Zero for zero conditional, one for first conditional, two for second conditional. So you have to read this. Remember, that on the previous class I gave you a table and in this table we had all the conjugations and the things that we had to pay attention to. Remember, zero conditional is present plus present. First conditional is present plus will. And second conditional is past plus would. So what you have to do is analyze the grammatical structure of these sentences and decide which conditional they are in. I'm going to help you a bit, making you realize the things that you have to pay attention for to. For example, here we have the conjugation, so it says, you have to practice every day if you want to play an instrument. If we pay attention, here we have simple present and simple present, so that leads us to zero conditional. So, here you have to pay attention to the rest of the conjugations, so you can decide by looking at the chart that you have in your English notebook that you copied the day before. So you can decide whether to write one, two 
or zero on the lines, yes? With this I'm helping you a lot, so I hope it makes your life easier. In the second one, we have to choose which is the best conjugation for each one of them. Here, number one says, I take an aspirin if I get a headache, not if I will get a headache. Translate it, think again in your head. Me tomo una aspirina si me da dolor de cabeza, no si me va a dar dolor de cabeza, no si me da. Yes, you cannot predict your headaches, yes, yeah? so... You usually take a medicine when you're starting to feel a pain or when you have a necessity. So, in these ones, you only have to write the correct letter, A or B, on the line. And, again, we will check it later in our class. In this page, page 62, we have a text. But this text needs to be completed with the words here. Pay attention! Some of the verbs cannot be copied here, just like that. Some of the verbs need to be transformed, yes. Some of them need an S for he, she, it. Some of them may need a past, some of them may need a will or a word. Let's start reading the text and let's pay attention to the example. The title is The Amazon River. Dry season. Mocos, what well, are mocos? This type of birds in Spanish, they are called... Um, Guacamayas, okay? So, um, it says, Mocos eat dry clay to protect their stomachs from poisonous seeds that can kill them. Otters hunt in groups to themselves from other predators. Hawks, where are hawks? Halcones. And otters are nutrias, okay? So, coming back here. Hawks sit on low tree branches to catch fish that out of the water. Caimans, the water to make the fish jump into the air and into the jaws. Rainy season, hogs and caimans can't jump in fish because the water level six meters. Fire ants together to move on the water because they can swim. They keep the queen and the jaw dry. So again, you have to use these verbs and put them on the correct place. It is not so difficult. And after reading that, you have to choose whether these statements are true or false. Let's read it. If mocos eat clay, they protect their stomachs. Let's go back here. It is mocos eat dry clay to protect their stomachs from poisonous seeds. So... What is the answer of this thing? It is obviously true. Uh -huh. So you're going to continue checking the rest of the sentences and decide if it's true or false. Number two, otters defend themselves more easily if they hunt in groups. So pay attention, some of the sentences here are helping you with answers over there. If came and swim, the fish jump out of the water. The water level doesn't rise very much if it rains. The fire ants moves on the water if it's by itself. 6. If it doesn't rain, hogs hunt fish. Please answer these and we're going to check it later in our class. After that, exercise 4 and the last exercise of today's unit. Number 4 says draw, look and write. So you have to pay attention to the illustrations to decide which is the best sentence you could write about it. So look at this. This one has got lots of money and here there are a lot of children. So the sentence is with second conditional, talking about unreal situations. So here it says, if I were rich, I would adopt a lot of children. That's the explanation of this. This is number one. This is number two. This is number three. This is number four, this is number five. Again, remember, you need a sentence in past as a condition and an unreal conclusion with word. After that, we're going to practice talking about wishes. Remember that we talk about wishes with past conjugation. Let's look at the example. The example is over here, is this blue monster. What do you think the monster wishes for? I wish I had less hair. What do you think this man wishes he had smaller? And then this man wishes what? 
this girl is trying to sing and look it says better so what do you think is her wish this man says fit what is fit estar en forma and look at his belly he is quite fat and look at this boy he has got one two three four five six seven eight eight brothers so what do you think he wishes for obviously the opposite so Please write the sentences using past. This is the example. I wish I had less hair. Write the sentences about the wishes of the other characters over here. And we're going to check it later in our class. Last but not least, remember to copy the grammar explanation and answer these sentences because that's what we're going to check and a little exercise that is in the PDF file. And I'll see you in a few minutes in our Zoom class. Okay, bye.